Now, electrical transformers are used for changing uh, voltage, increasing or decreasing voltage, uh, and changing current in alternating current fields. So, I've got this uh, alternating current, so that's my inside, and it's attached to a bar. That's uh, one, two, three turns. So say on the input side, I've got uh, three turns. Okay. Now, uh, let's say on the other side, I've got an output, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six six turns. It's going to be driving something on the output. So this is in, this is out, this is uh, NI for input number of turns, that's three, and out is the output number of turns, and that's six. All right, I got a voltage in, and I got a voltage out. Now, what's going to happen here is I'm running an AC current, so I'm sloshing electrons back and forth. As I slosh them back and forth, they create a magnetic field that sloshes back and forth. That's like producing a wave in the water. And these electrons here, which are like stuff floating on the water, they feel that electromagnetic wave, and they start sloshing back and forth without even touching. Usually you have something connecting them. Quite often, this post is inside this post, or vice versa, so you have the maximum transfer of the magnetic field. But the sloshing of this current back and forth produces a sloshing magnetic field which causes these guys to slosh. Now it's going to be more sluggish over here because I've got more stuff to slosh. I've got three turns here, six turns here, I've got more electrons to slosh, so the current's going to be lower. But if I assume that the input power is equal to the output power, uh, that's not going to be right, that's a starting point, then the input voltage on the input side here, on the primary side also, this is called a primary coil. This is called the secondary coil. The input voltage times the input current should be approximately equal to the output voltage times the output current times I out. Now, current, let's see, so V out over V in is equal to current in over current out. This makes sense, right? If I've got this sloshing isn't going to produce as much sloshing in the secondary. So the current's going to go down, which means the voltage goes up. This is a step up transformer. Current in over current out. So that's equal to, uh, let's see, the number of coils on the output side or number the number of coils on the input side. If the number of coils on the output side is bigger, it's a step-up transformer. My voltage will go up. If the number of output coils is smaller than the input, it's a step-down transformer because my voltage output will be less. Now, the actual mechanical advantage, right there. The actual voltage out over voltage in. There are all kinds of losses you can have when you're transferring a magnetic field from one source to the other and you're hooking it up with a current and causing stuff to move and slosh. Stuff happens. But that's the input. And the input uh, ideal mechanical advantage, or excuse me, the ideal mechanical advantage, you can measure that. If you know the number of turns, uh, that's what you got. And of course, like all uh, like all force transformers, the efficiency is the actual mechanical advantage divided by the ideal mechanical advantage.